Hi guys, what's happening? This is Stephen from Thailand Unplugged. I get so many emails from subscribers asking, how do I find a good girl in Thailand? And which is the best bar to go to? I've in all the wrong places. It's quite saddening, really. I've got one piece of advice on finding a good girl in Thailand. She won't be in a bar. But get out of the bars and take a look around. It just amazes me that such a bad reputation is given to girls in Thailand. And why? Because of the sex industry. My biggest piece of advice is one repeated so often, yet always ignored. Stay away from the bars. Get out and see the country for what it is, really. And enjoy the land of smiles and meet real Thai people. Time to get something to eat first. We're at Sanacon Market and um, walk around and have a chat about the subject. Yeah. Hello boys and girls, we're off again today, heading for a market. What's the name of it, Mel? I don't know. Yeah, we're going to the I Don't Know Market. It's very popular. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I thought it was I Don't Know. My friend asked me to go. Oh, so no name. We're going to the No Name Market. What what suburbs is it in or whatever? Uh, they're called the Summer Gone. Summer Gone. It's, where was it been here? I'll have to get back to you on that. I shall put all the stuff going along like that around the bottom. Looks really neat, really. Yeah, I'll do all that. Summer Gone Market, isn't it? Is that what they call it? Summer Gone Market, I think. Oh. I've never been there. Mel's going there. I got to see my friend first, I got to her place first, and then go together. Her home or where she lives? Home, yes. Home. Oh. oh. So you're going to give her a lift, yeah? You're going to charge her any money? I don't think so. Well, I want some money. You got 10 baht or something? What for? I don't know, maybe I'll buy. Can you buy for 10 baht in Thailand? Yeah. We're in that area. Yeah, we're going around to get her friend. I've got to stop looking at the screen up the top. I do that all the time. Go look here. I don't know much more to say, just stuck in traffic again. Moving really quickly. <sighs> so you think about Bangkok, it's um traffic's terrible. Yeah, well, I got over it. Anyway, we'll uh, leave it at that and I'll get back to you shortly. We are going to uh Summer Farm Market, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll Sorry. show you after. There is it. Where is it, Mel? Uh, this uh, the market this over there in oh, front. Oh, Villa Market, there. Yeah. Not, not Villa, back of that. Okay, we'll just park the car and we'll head into the market. I haven't been here before, I don't know what to, what to expect. We're all uh, in the same boat. Yeah, bit squeezy. Wow, oh, it's hot in Bangkok at the moment. I don't know what the temperature is. It's Mel's parking the car. She's really good at smashing cars, putting dents in them. Okay, we're heading for the... Okay, we're at the market now. Uh, really don't know what to expect here. Yeah. Looks like there's lots of markets in Bangkok. All different. I like going to <laughs> Three lovely ladies to go with. <laughs> Summercon Market. What does that mean in English? Any English translation? Village. Village. Oh, okay. Name Summercon, and the market is named Oh, okay. Right. I got it. Oh, look at this. Now this is a problem here, I've walked in with no money. I'll ask Mel if she can give me a bit of money, we'll see what happens. Hey Mel, can you give me a bit of money? I'll give it to you when I go to the ATM. You got any money? You want me to go to the ATM? Where's 
Yeah, I don't want to. Cost me um, uh, 250 baht to take it out. I'll take it out on the way home. It's got a thousand of them. Go and play with that. Yeah, I'll give it back to you. Give it back two times price, okay? You're not giving back two times price. <laughs> That's 20 baht, it's not 1,000 baht. Why are you? Why are you looking for that? And what was your name? Name? Pet. 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 P. Duck. Pet. 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 B. 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 P. P. Pet. Yes. Okay. Wow. Okay. You don't say nothing to the food truck? No. Why not? You <laughs> Looks like it's pretty exciting here. This is the first one, number one, down here. I'm hungry, having any lunch. Hey Mal, yes. you're gonna get any lunch? Huh? You're gonna get some lunch? I haven't eaten all day. Oh. Are you doing oh, Shut it? up, God. You have to be very Did not, you're a liar. That's why I'm losing so much weight. It's losing weight of nothing. Hello there, if you are watching these videos, could you please help us out and push the subscribe button or click on the subscribe button if you like. It helps us out a hell of a lot. Be most appreciated. And now back to the video. Okay, we're on the hunt for something to eat. Sorry. I think the biggest thing is going to be trying to get somewhere to sit so I can scuff it all down. It syrups. Yeah, where do you eat now? Maybe here, this one, this one here. I was just looking for somewhere to sit down. You can only sit here, but uh, what's the food like? Uh, yeah, I know. I understand. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. You've been here before? You come before? Oh, one time. Yeah. You don't live far from here now. Walk around. They were, they were sit down. <laughs> this is pork. Pork soup without noodles. Pork soup without noodles? No noodles? Yeah, I, I eat out. Oh. Uh, but it was, uh, That's nice. How, how much was that? How much? Um, I think... Uh, uh, they don't think far the now. It's probably about 40, 50 baht. Looks okay. It's quite nice, actually. What is it? Oh, noodle, uh, we don't noodle here. <laughs> noodle, 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 noodle less, noodle. Oh, whatever. I've got some drinks coming, so it should be okay. I'll report back to you later. How much is it now? Sixty baht for one. So nice. Pretty good food. Okay, very nice. Not too bad at all. I actually had two, but um, I didn't record the second ones. There's my iPad there, I got one too. One over there, one over there. Oh, look, there's some meat there. Oh, there's some bones on there. Maybe it didn't belong in there. Okay. Just eaten now, we'll go for a walk. I don't know whether she just went. Oh, there they are. Just leave me for dead. Get the camera. Oh, I gotta learn how to hold the camera straight. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh, there it goes again. I gotta hold my hand up straight. Ah. I keep pointing the camera down. It's an accident now. Oh, I was doing it now again. There you go. Oh, that was good. I was talking to the camera before yapping my head off and wasn't even switched on. Oh, well. What was I talking about? Oh yeah. Hmm, very nice. I like going to markets. How much the towels are. Maybe a few new towels. <laughs>
Meeting normal Thai girls. I get asked this question so many times. Yeah, people are emailing me all, all the time how to meet normal Thai girls, like not from a bar or a street or a go-go bar or whatever. All these experts in Thailand will um, tell you how to meet Thai girls. A lot of the, uh, the foreigners come over here and uh, tell you it's easy to meet and sleep with young Thai girls. But when you look at how the uh, majority of foreigners go about it, um, they're just renting prostitutes. That. I suppose in any country you can do that, but um, unfortunately in Thailand it's um, so, you know, you can get some real bargains and uh, usually the girls are very attractive. There's so many, um, well, prostitutes or hookers, whatever you kind of want to call them in Thailand, you know, there's, um, you know, there's bar girls, there's beer bar girls, there's uh, no-go-go girls, there's escort girls. I've got no idea what the prices are, but I've heard it's um, between a thousand dollars and uh, a thousand dollars, thousand baht and um, uh, one thousand five hundred baht. You know, I suppose it depends how good looking out. I, I really don't know. I really don't know how much it costs. I think one of the best ways to um, meet a girl in Thailand, or if you're in your own country, is to um, uh, go to the dating sites. All right. Now, most of the Thai population now is on the internet. And the internet this and the internet that, so they're all on the internet. So it's probably a, a better alternative to, um, before you get here, is get on the um, internet and, and if you have to pay them the money, so it's, I don't think it's much, I really don't know. And, um, you know, meet Thai girls, start talking to them, swapping photos and, and do it that way. A lot of times we'll go through um, or markets like this or supermarkets or shopping centres and you know you see the Thai girls smile at you and you think oh okay, I'll go over and talk to them. Sometimes you'll go over and talk to them and they'll just keep giggling at you and laughing at you. And the reason being they don't speak any English at all. And some of them do speak English and uh, I mean if you're nice to a girl in Thailand they're, they're, they're usually nice back. And, uh, you know you might be able to get, get to take one out if you're lucky. But um, that's probably what I'd be doing if I was here uh, by myself. Oh, getting back to these expert, these experts in um, uh, Thailand. Um, I had one. <laughs> I listened to one guy once. He just full of shit. He said uh, prostitution's uh, part of Thai society and it's accepted. Prostitution has never been accepted in Thailand and never will be accepted. Yeah, and this guy's been here for a while, and then just to say that sort of shit, he's um, just full of it. I mean, if you listen to people like that, well, pfft. So, anyway, I was talking to a guy the other day, and he wants to meet a Thai girl. He wants to, um, uh, he wants a true love, he said. He, he wants a regular, like, um, how do you call it? Permanent relationship. And uh, some bloggers are saying, or Thai YouTubers, if you like, oh, I'll go straight to the bars and pick up my no problem, blah, blah, pay your money, and Bob's your uncle. No. Another guy said, yeah, you don't want to go in um, shopping centres and so forth because, uh, like a sleaze bag. Yeah. Well, I disagree on that. They're just, uh, there's so many girls in shopping centres and markets and so forth and supermarkets, and usually they're single and never been married and from a broken marriage or whatever. Just so many of them around. Sometimes I walk around by myself and, um, markets and so forth and they're really friendly and um, not not throwing themselves at you but um, very happy to talk to you or whatever. Anyway where was I? Yeah he said yeah don't go around and do shopping centers you're a sleaze bag you know I'm sleazing in there sleaze well I disagree if you want me to do some um, Thai girl well, come to one of these markets and just walk through and start talking all the shopping centers you know 
And believe me, they're not idiots, uh, the Thai girls. And most of them have been to uni and so forth. But, uh, you know, you can pick up. <laughs> it's not appropriate word. You can, you can meet some real honeys in here. Or markets like this. You know, if you look where I'm pointing the camera, um, you know, there's some real beautiful women here. I think so. Look. There you go. Look at this one. Chatty cup. Now, why did I do that for? Did you notice the girl? Very nice. And had no rings on her finger, and she wasn't bad looking. Now, I could have pressed with a conversation, but nothing worse than your, your wife or your missus coming across and hitting you over the head. What are you doing? So, as you can probably tell. But it's not hard to um, meet girls in, in Bangkok. It's, it's just bullshit. I mean, if you want to go down to, like, uh, Phuket, what, I can't remember the streets they call them, and Pattaya and Bangkok and wherever else up to yourself you know some of the guys coming over they, they get off the planes like they're some sort of rabbit super rabbit you know they have to go straight to the bars and do their thing well if you want a permanent relationship in my mind just the local markets the you know supermarkets the um, you know you can get uh, like good clubs and the Thai girls do dress up they do go to these clubs there's lots of clubs in, in Bangkok to go to but you know it's, uh, in, I'm talking Bangkok but most of the guys they um Head straight to uh, Nana Plaza. Like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, all, all the guys that come here have done that. And once, but after you've been here a few times, you understand how it still works, you know. And you know, and success rate of uh, you know getting a Thai girl in a in a, well, let's say Nana Plaza. The odds are not very good of. Uh, relationship lasting most of the stories I've heard have uh, not ended well but, uh, well each their own and some of the flungs coming over here they don't understand one thing it's business uh, you know the girls are doing it you know that's they, their business they know it doesn't make a man happy they know what to say well that's my take on the whole thing and another thing uh, that I think should be uh, looked at if you I mean, it's the, um, yeah, the dating sites. You know, you can sit there and talk to them and, you know, you can talk, you know, two or three months before you get here and you can get to know the person and swap photos and I don't know how they really work. But, you know, if I was looking, I'd probably do that before I arrive. Uh, where was I? Mm. Yeah, the dating sites. Yeah, you can, you can uh, talk to the girls before you get here. You know, and get to know them. And uh, you know, I don't. I don't believe that it, it, you sit there and talk to one girl. Talk to five or six of them. I'll tell them the truth. Yeah, I'm, I talk to a lot of girls. You're coming over the time. I'd like to meet you and take your pick. You know. I mean, there are scammers on that too. But you know, you'll soon work that out when you, they start asking you for money or whatever. And there's Facebook. Facebook is full of scammers though. I suppose you've got to be careful with anything you do and never ever send money to people, you know, to people you haven't met, you know. Oh, you know, you get these sad stories, someone just died and, you know, you know my, my mother's sick in hospital, can you send me some money after you got to know them? all sorts of scams out there. But, you know, that's my attitude, I don't think they're all bad. But, uh, you got to sort of uh, do some research yourself. Not really into the dating scene. Thanks for watching. How's this? Check this out. Coffee in a plastic bag. Uh, ice coffee. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now yeah, you can zip it up here, see? Ziploc bag, actually.
Mm. Incredible. Don't you think? I do. Oh, in English too. Hmm. Interesting.